Lara, welcome back to my channel and please if you're new to my channel please subscribe and watch my previous video, it is only small. I want to say thank you to everyone that subscribed to me and liked my video from last time and today the makeup look I wanted to be quite dramatic as you can see because it's on my face at the moment. Um, so please keep watching if you want to see how I managed to do this. To the video! So my face is all primed and I'm going to be at the primer I used, well it's not really a primer, it is Nivea Post Shave Balm for men and I've just put that all over my face So and it is a really good primer. The NYX um, white eyeshadow primer and I'm going to put that all over my lid because we'll be using bright colours today. So now I'm just taking any brush, I usually use a concealer brush. This is just a cheap one from Superdrug. I'm just going to blend this out into the skin. Now I'm just going to take this brush from Morphe. I'm going to use this white colour to set it. Dabbing this on. The lid, put it all over. So I've just came a little bit closer to the um, camera so you can actually see what I'm doing. And then I'm just going to do the same on the other eye. So now both eyes are ready for me to put colour on. Actually, I'm just going to go a little bit more. So going in with that same brush, I'm just going to use the Morphe palette 35B and go in with. Oh, I don't know. Um, this colour here, just this one here, and I am going to put that all over the lid. Just like in little circular motions to blend it all in. Don't forget to get the inner corner. And just the same with the other eye. So that is done. It's not much, but it's not as bright as what the white was, and that's what I wanted. I didn't want, I just wanted it to be quite subtle. So I am using the Revolution Pro palette. Um sorry, it is a bit used. And I'm using the colour um Fearless. So I'm just gonna take another brush from Morphe and then I'm just gonna put it on the brush and I am going to put that. See, I like to bring my eye, eye makeup into like a little, like a wing, my all my eyeshadow. So, if you don't, that's how I like to do my eyes. Just a personal preference. And I'm just gonna put a little bit more on. So that is that finished and. Well, not finished, finished, but that is once I've applied the fearless colour. Don't worry about taking it down a little bit because you can just wipe away excess when you need to, which is what I'll be doing later on. Harsh lines, then I'll just go back in with that first brush that we used and then just blend it out. So again, I'm just going in with another Morphe brush, just like this. And I am going to be using this slightly darker colour in the 35B palette by Morphe and add that into the crease. And then that is one eye, I'm quite happy with that. And then I'm just gonna go into the other eye. Sorry, I have got Game of Thrones theme song stuck in my head because I have been, been re-binge watching it from when I first watched it because I absolutely love it. 
and I'm watching it with my mum and my boyfriend and my boyfriend's never seen it so there's things that me and my mum have seen because we watched it together and we're just oh so do you remember what happened to such and such and my boyfriend's like what's going on and I'm sure this lockdown has got everyone binge watching programs or re-binge watching programs so I have been busy doing uni uni work I have non-stopped yesterday from the moment I got up till about two o'clock in the morning I was just doing uni work after uni work reading researching writing uni work I've submitted an assignment yesterday and I am so glad it was over I'm just gonna go in with this peaches and cream um, brush that I got it is the P C37 brush with, and I'm gonna go an exclusive which is my favourite colour in the palette and I'm just gonna put that in the crease and I'm trying to make the crease like pop like proper deep in the crease up so right I'm just gonna go in with the darker purple now on the with the same brush and I'm going because that didn't really do much what I wanted so I'm just gonna go in with this dark purple and deepen the crease up with that instead. Now I want sort of darker on the end so I'm gonna go in again with the detail crease brush and I'm gonna just use I'm just gonna use a dark purple and I'm just gonna go in with this dark purple right here and I'm gonna go and put that in the inner crease. I mean, the inner corner. And the same again on this side too. And I'm just taking it there and just doing like a circular motion like that until I get the way that I like. And slightly dragging it across so it's like creating like a wing. This is really annoying me. I am just going to take this excess off. Now I'm just going to go in with the um, Revolution Constellation palette and I'm going to go in with the colour Venus, which is this one right here, which is like a bright pink. Sorry, this palette is really huge. It's one of my favourite ones. Um, they have pressed pigments, which are very bright. And I'm just going to use that to just brighten up this little bit here just slightly just a little tiny bit on my brush like this the, this is very pigmented like for the price of the palette and I, I think the palette was like around 10 pounds and it is so cheap and affordable like I love it what I'm gonna do now is just take the this brush that we used earlier the Morphe brush and I'm gonna add um, I'm gonna go back in with the the fearless. And I'm gonna put that all underneath, like so. And then I'm gonna go back in with this brush, and then I'm gonna use the this the Morphe palette that we used, and just go in towards the outer corner of your eye on the. Now to clean all this excess up, which I don't really want, um, so it's nice and a nice eye shape that I'd like, I'm just going to take some micellar water on a, on a wipe and go from the inner, from about here and wipe using one motion oh, like that. And now I'm just about to do the same on the other eye as well. So my eye has started watering. Really? You do this now, eye. Oh my god, watering again. Right, yeah, we're not having any book with this eye today. Right, so now is the time where I am going to be testing some of that makeup that I got from Peaches and Cream. And it is the... Oh, I haven't it. Oh yeah. So I wanted to go in with this colour. It is the, I'll tell you the colour now, it is the one that was in the really cute alien box. 
I have got a thing for aliens at the moment because I think they're really cute. Like I've ordered a couple of things online and I've got an alien top coming. It's got a an alien on it. But um no, there's a lot of um I'm gonna be doing a haul once a lot of my orders that I've ordered from like Amazon and stuff comes through. So back in the last video I unboxed a lot of makeup that I got from Peaches and Cream and in it was this little box which had which is the colour um what was it called? Um it's called Current Mood and it had the cute little alien on. So we're just gonna put that on the lid. Um and we're gonna use so which is this colour. And we're gonna use the primer that I got, the glitter primer, the pigment primer that I got. And the it just looks like this. Um very sheer and shimmery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Peaches and Cream Glitter Base Primer and it says to apply a little thin layer before on the eyelid um, allow to settle before, and allow to settle before applying glitter pigment. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and apply this with a nice, with a flat brush. I am also sorry for the lighting in this video. I got a new light. Um, I got a new light the other day and I'm still trying to figure it out. So if the lighting's a bit all over the place, I am very very sorry. So I'm just going to apply this, it's on the brush now, and I'm just going to apply a thin layer, like so. And I have realised that the time is probably, if you can hear whatever is going on outside, I am assuming it's the clapping for the NHS, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, I think it is the fireworks too. This eye, I have tried to sort it out the best I can, but it just keeps watering. Um, I'm just going to go in with this this pigment by Peaches and Cream. I'm going in to use the pigment brush by Peaches and Cream, which is the PC36 brush. Like that. Not the ma a massive fan of the primer. I usually use eyelash glue and this seems to have just made my eyes really wrinkly. And my eye is watering again, again. So I've just gone and redone the um, <clears throat> underneath of my eyes because it got because my eyes were watering. But it is still done a little bit of a damage to the eye makeup. But I think that's it for the eyes for now and what I'm going to do now is just I'm going to put some concealer on. So I'm just going to go in with some concealer now and the concealer I'm using is the Revolution Clear um, Conceal and Define in the, say, in the shade C3. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to take it here and then just sweep it underneath the eye. So now I'm just going to blend it into the eye colour. And I'm just going to use the concealer brush I used before to put the primer on the eye. So I'm just going to blend it in like so. So once you've blended up the concealer, so what I'm doing is I am going in with the concealer and I'm just putting it over here on my chin. I'm going to put it on the bridge of my nose, up the bridge of my nose, and on my forehead. Like so. I blend it out with the concealer brush on my nose. I'm just going to blend it up. And then I'm going to blend it out on my forehead too. With another type of concealer to do my contour. I've just started doing my contour like this because I really enjoy it and I like the way it looks. It is the the concealer I'm using to do my contour is the Pro Base um, Full Coverage Concealer from MUA and it's really cheap it's about I think it's about four pounds and it the shade that I'm using is 185 so I like to put my contour here and I just like to do it in dots like so and I do the same on the other side and then I blend this out I blend out with the Real Techniques um, 
sculpt and contour brush I think I'm not too sure and then I just blend it out like so so I use it like this and then I take it up and then I also put contour underneath my lip and then after I've done that I go in and put it on my forehead so then it ends up looking a little bit like this and it looks still a little bit mad but we'll get to it once I'm happy with the way the contour has gone and I know it's not perfect because I'm not a makeup artist I just enjoy makeup I am going in and taking some highlighter, liquid highlighter. Now this one that I've got which I've been using recently is the Good To Glow by Rimmel London highlighter and it is in the shade Nothing Hill Glow. No, Notting Hill Glow and it comes in this little bottle. So I just put, I put that on the back of my hand and I just dab it on my I dab it on my cheek, cheekbone, and I just dab it until it keeps blending in. So then it should look something like this. And then I put a little bit on my nose, a little bit here, and I bring it up to the bridge of the nose, and then into the forehead. And I just blend it out with my finger because I feel like it's the best way to work the product in. Usually with the highlighter, I usually put um, some powder highlighter on as well. And the one I'm using it is very damaged because I love it so much. And it is the Revolution Strobe Highlighter. And it is in the, I think it is in the shade, oh no, it's called Flash. And I just use a fan brush, brush to apply it and I just go back and forth over it just like this and I just do it on my nose and my cupid's bow so now I've done the highlighter and the contour what I like to do now is my foundation now the foundation I use is the fit me foundation the shade 1110 and I think it is um yeah 1110 porcelain and it is for normal to oily in and it is the matte one so it just looks like this and it's about eight pounds from Superdrug. so just put it on the back of my hand and then i apply it with this brush here and i just apply it like this And I slightly take it up over the parts that I've just contoured and highlighted. And bring it down the neck. Then I just go back it went back in for with the um, contour and just contoured a little tiny bit more because I thought it was needed. So now what I do is I take the powder contour from my Ted Baker contour kit and I just go in with this one, with this brush. So once I'm happy with how it looks there, I go in with the the Fit Me Matte Poreless by Maybelline and um, just the powder. This is used, I need to get a new one. Um, and I use the thing to apply it with and I just because I just like it like using it. And I go and I just define that a little bit more. Define the contour a little bit more. So once I have done the contour and the powder on my face, I go in with a this palette and this is the Revolution um, blush palette. Um, it's called Sugar and Spice, and I go in with the shade with um, with this shade right here. And then I go in with more highlighter again and it's the same one that I used before. 
before again with a fan brush and just apply it to the cheekbones so now I am done with the face makeup and then I go in and do my eyebrows and the palette I use is the Pro is the, another Revolution product and it is the Pro Amplified Brow Palette and it's like this, I have used it a lot now I just take this brush by Morphe which is a spoolie on the end and it's got an angled um, angled brush at the end so I just go through and I just I go through and I comb through my brows now I am not very good at, at doing eyebrows so you're going to have to bear with me on this so I just go in with some of the wet stuff and I just usually use this one but because our eye makeup is so heavy today I am going to use the darker one um, so I'm just going to do this sorry about that my sister just knocked on the door because she was dropping some dog food off for our dogs because she was going to Tesco's and asked if we wanted anything now we just go in with this eyebrow and I sort of start with like the tail of the brow and make it the shape that I want. I usually make that, I usually make the brow darker at the end towards and like a bit more fluffy towards the um, top so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So I am not the best at doing eyebrows, I really struggle with it. And then I just sort of try and move the product around a little bit with the spoolie and work it into the brow so it looks a little bit more natural than just like the stuck on look but I do like the brow to be very sculpted around the tail. Once I've done that side of the brow I usually tend to come over here and just do this at the bottom and then I take it up a little bit like this and I curve it around to join the tail and then for the top I do similar but I just take it a little bit higher than what I usually I just take it a little bit higher and I sort of go like this to make it sort of a square shape I go start from here and just lift up I try to, I like, I really like the idea of trying to draw little things on my eye. eyebrows like the individual hairs so this is what, what I do And again, my eye is watered, so sorry. So that is the brows finished, and that is how I want them to look. Adam! Whoa! What? Hello. What? <laughs> it's Carla. <laughs> Best you've ever had. So once I've done my brows, I like to go and do my eyeliner. And the eyeliner I use is the Collection Fast Stroke Eyeliner in, in, in black. So I start my eyeliner from about here, then I go here from the outer corner, I also like to put a little bit extra in the inner corner, so I bring it out a little bit. And 
then I like to bring it underneath as well. So I've already done this eye and I'm going to move on to this eye because this eye is really doing me head and it keeps watering now. It was this one, but hopefully it's going to look okay and you'll like it. So for the, for the eyeliner, what I usually start off with doing is I do a sort of flick first. Like that. And then I join that to the... And I make like a little triangle like that first. And then what I like to do is I like to bring it into the inner corner here. And then I bring it out a little bit because that's how I like it. And then I just bring it underneath the waterline and it's, it's very hard to do this. So you just as close as you can to the waterline but not actually on the waterline. Like that, and then I just go in a little bit more over the uh, over the top to make it seamless. And then because I want it quite thick here, I'm just going to take it from about here. So now my eyeliner is done, I'm going to move on to the next stage and that is going to be curling my eyelashes and then put my eyelashes on. The glue I am using for my eyelashes is the duo glue, glue and I um, like to use these little tools to apply and then I just let that dry for a little bit. Now the lashes I'm using, is they are Ardell lashes, I can't remember because I don't have the box for them anymore. I'm just going to pop that onto my eyelashes. So. Then I like to take some tweezers and just set them into place. So once the eyelash is on, I just like to go through and I like to put mascara on and blend the lashes in to the my natural lashes into my into the false lashes. Once I have applied the eyelashes and got them the way they want to, even if this one was a pain in the ass. Um, I just want to put some lipstick on, so I think I'm just going to choose this one by Revolution and it is called, one second let me just go and ask um, my boyfriend to read this because I haven't got my glasses on, <laughs> what's it called Adam? It should be at the bottom, the other side. Okay. This is called Matstick Lipstick Bo Bokeh. Bokeh. Bouquet, bouquet, whatever. Like a bouquet of flowers. <laughs> so it's called um, bouquet and it is like this. It's a matte colour and it is this colour. It is, just looks like this and I'll do a swatch for you now. That is the colour and it looks really nice. I've one of my favourites at the moment. It's my newest lipstick I've got. So this isn't the best makeup look um, I've done and will be doing in the future. So as you know my eyes have been watering through the video and then my phone just died when I was about to put the lipstick on. Me and my boyfriend decided to try and save the phone from dying by trying to grab the charger and reach it to the other side of the bed. The problem being is my charger is not that long so anyway thank you for watching this is the end of the video this is the finished look and i just want to say thank you to everyone that has liked and subscribed to me since the last video was put up um please please like and subscribe to see more videos like this and hopefully better ones in the future and thank you for everyone 
again. Bye.